Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Agito Live video. This time we're going to be doing an Agilene account review for Venom Revenge, who I'll be referring to as Venom for this point forward. He is on the Washington server. And they've been playing AL since the 1st of March in 2023. Uh, they've not changed accounts or anything like that. They want some help for gear for World 15. Uh, recommendations from Gear Lab, use your prints, blah blah blah. Ships to work on for World 14, which to 125. Gearing for Laffy 2, specifically for World 14. And then, if I could, use fleet slots 3 and 4 to build some sample fleets for him. Should put FTG in there if you can. Even if the ships are not leveled, please include them. I will grind them up. Alright, cool. Also, I can roast a bit. It's fine. He's a gotcha veteran, been playing. Uh, Princess Connect Ian for two years before this, and Bleach, and Bleach Brave Souls a year before that. Nice. Very nice. I haven't played that game in forever. Oof. Good game. Good game. So, first we have Shimakaze as a secretary on here, in her Alice in Wonderland skin. It's a good skin. We've got Unzin and her swimsuit skin, which is an okay skin. Unzin, as I said in my last account review, and as my chat lambasted me for, I will say it again, so it's recorded twice. Unzin? Not very good. Unzin, not even the best waifu. Unzin, just a bookie too. Unzin, just kind of like Drake. Forgettable. Moving on. Uh, New Jersey, good choice. FDG, good choice. And then Aegir with her skin, also good choice. Even if it is a feet skin, I still like the skin. Let's look at the account here. We've got 49% collection, new player, decent amount of exercises, a lot of attacks, uh, something, and 7,500 fleet power. Nice. Fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the dock. Uh, looks like they're a light spender. If I can, uh, please say I like to add, only spent real money on skins. Has only spent real money on skins, but has definitely bought at least a few dock spaces. Awesome. Let's look at Oath ships. Say what? Yo! One Oath? One Oath? Damn. A spender with one Oath. Not the low. Now this is twice today. Twice today I've seen uh, people with one Oath. The last one was because they were free to play. This one is just one Oath. Absolutely insane. Fantastic. Love to see it. Love to see it. Alright, let's see. 125, 125, 125. Ozma. Helena. Enterprise. Independence. Anchorage. Kazukumo. I'm seeing a meta player here. A little bit of a meta anyways. Vorshalov. Shimakaze. Yudachi. Bismarck's Y. Aegir. Laffy. San Francisco. Someone who actually has San Francisco leveled up. Nice. Saratoga, Ticonderoga, good choice. Perseus, Kabakaze, Noshiro, Nagato, Z46, Auto Rune, Jean, Richelieu, St. Louis. I do not see a monarch. Lots of 120s. A few 100s here and there. I do not see a monarch. I'm getting very, very sad. The further I go down, I see a lot of level 70s. At least level 70 of all the base characters. You don't have monarch. L. 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 Just a straight L. Unfortunate. That's the first thing I see on your account that I can roast you for. Uh, L. Just straight L. Straight L's. So. Uh, RDS Shimato unlocked. And Cure Sarge. Got your one Laffy leveling up. Okay. Chikuma. Saruga. Okay. All right, haven't gone to work on it. It's okay. It's all right. It's fine. It's an L, but it's fine. It's fine. I accept that. It's all right. Not everybody can make the most base choices in their life. It's fine. Anyways, uh, what you do have leveled here is a series of very good ships, and there will be some other ships that you will probably will probably want to look at uh, for when we're building your World 14 fleets, which we will go through once I'm done looking at everything. No, he's got Saint. Saint's right here. One twenty-five. It's fine. 125. No, you know, no gun on her, but it's fine. Alright, let's look at your depot. 
Taiho, Amagi, Tashkan. Okay. One Promise Ring. A couple of books. Prints stored up. Cog arrays. You've been using them. And your cog chips, you've been using them, clearly. Decent amount of prints in some places, but not in others. Probably because you're using them. Solid amount of cubes. Okay. Lots of XP. A lot of the 2x XP. The high tier. 401 high efficiencies. Damn. No electronics. He had a 125 electronics, if I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah. 123. T1 XB data. And then low on the core data, but I assume it's because you're using it. Cool. Looks looks good. Looks real good. Looks real good. All right, let's look at the gear. Yo, this guy is gaming. Playing since March? Gaming already. Almost a year. Absolutely gaming. Two Georgia guns at plus 13. Three Wyverns. Two of them at plus 13. Two Tenrise. Two. Two Tenrise. Not just one. Two. Two Tenrise at plus 10. Plus 13 gun for Sanity. Cosmic Kicks. So we're Archive Player. Frontier badge, Exp lots of experimentals already. A few flapjacks, okay. Like what I'm seeing here. Okay. Okay. There's a couple super heavy shells. One bitter. All right, no, it's not bitter. Yeah, it is bitter. One bitter. Okay. Okay. Got these waiting around. Snorkels already as well. Okay. FOMOs. Seals. Those already. French guns. Farmed up a few French guns, it looks like. Definitely crafted a few French guns. Holy crap. New player with like six French guns. French DD guns. Damn. Plus 13. Now this has not leveled. I can say this right now, looking at this. Has not leveled gear he did not need to level. I'm seeing a lot of like clean gear leveling in the context that there's level 10 or they're level 13. There is not a single, there is not a single piece here so far that is randomly at like level 11. It is either level zero, level 10, or level 13. It's fucking clean. I love it. Well, nope. Here's this level four. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. False alarm. Not as clean as I thought. This one's level four. Never mind. But outside of this, this, this one piece, everything else. Really fucking clean. Really fucking clean. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. Absolutely clean. Clean, clean, clean. It almost kind of looks like my doc. Level it real quick. Here, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's just level it real quick. You need to fix that. Let's fix that. Yeah. There. Clean. Now, there we go. Fixed. Fixed. Clean. Fixed. <laughs> Fixed. Account saved. We've saved the account. It's absolutely perfect now. Not a hair out of place. Perfect. No, but seriously, it is rarely rare to see this. Oh, wait, no. See, it's still not fixed. It's still it's still not fixed. There's another one. You see, the closer we keep looking, there's always a hair out of place. Ugh, unfortunate. So unfortunate. Just, it just, it just, it just, it's uh, unfortunate. It was so close to being perfect. One of these days. Sword by enhance. No, I'm good. We're good. I like to go through the whole thing. It's the last one before you spin purple plates. True. True. 
That's fine. Yeah, six is fine. You're right. Six is fine. I'll give it that. You're right. Six is fine. That's true. That's right. Those are your break points. Zero, six. But see, but you see, Ken, then we find ones like this. These little pieces that have been left off to the side and forgotten about. <laughs> just can't fix it. Just can't fix it. Unfortunate. Account just ruined forever. For gore. For gore. A for Gordon piece. Look at this. this is all these plus tens, right? All these perfectly immaculate plus tens plus four. Oh, look at these. Look at these. Plus six, plus four, plus three. Ah, ah. I spoke way too soon. Look at all this. It's terrible. All this old gear forgotten. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. It was almost perfect. Almost saved. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten, uh, Depot. 9 out of 10 depot. You hate to see it. With that said, with that in mind, absolutely perfect. Great gear. Yeah, four rainbow oxytorps is a little sus because uh, they're kind of unnecessary, but still, like, I mean, it's not a terrible buy. I mean, they are good pieces, so you could do worse. You could do a lot worse. Let's see, 330... Okay, it's all from here. Good. Good. <laughs> all right. Let's go ahead and look at your dorm real quick. Ooh, no last slot. Only bot skins. Only has five slots filled in. Didn't buy the last slot. Interesting. Farming too expensive. Fair enough. What have you been farming? You said you were farming something earlier. I don't know what you said specifically, like two, one, three, four, whatever. Maybe the Fox sisters. Two, one. Why are you farming two, one? Ah, oh, commissions. Okay, cubes. Gotcha. Gotcha. Cube farming. We got a cube farmer here. I mean, you do have 534 cubes, so makes sense. Watch the chemo vid. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's a good resource as any. Yep. Very understandable. Very understandable. All right, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Lab research. Option, 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 option. Okay. All faces. All faces. Good. Focusing on five. Considering you have two Tenrai's at already, that makes sense. PR1... I don't know how I feel about the fact that you went for Ismo before you went for Monarch. I just... I just... Uh, just... Uh, just can't... Uh, can't approve that. Can't approve that. Massive L. Uh, wow, finished both DRs. Before anything else, that's actually kind of impressive. You've been gold. Someone's been gold farming a lot, as well. Nice. PR three. Yep. Very clean. Yep, I agree. Cool. PR four. Finished, 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 finished. Wow. Let's be real here. You have finished all the important ones out of PR4. Someone went PR4 gaming hard. And like, to be perfectly honest, I've said it before, PR4 is probably the best PR4 for bang for buck for investment. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Marco, like as much as I like Marco Polo, like you can just skip her. It's fine. You're not missing anything. Yeah. PR4 easily the, uh, the biggest bang for buck. And go the DRs, yeah. And then, like, AVP comes up pretty good because of the fact that she has a, a permanent, you know, 100% activation slow. Uh, time stop. So that's uh, pretty good. And then the two DRs over here. And you're just spamming through them. Damn. Look at you go. Yes, but as a new player, you won't have access to Implacable. So AVP is still the best. Again, it's all about what are your best, uh, 
what are your best options whether at the stage of the game that you're at do you have access to implacable no so obviously you're going to go for that you've started you've unlocked them all which is crazy you've grinded out their experience which is good and then you just you know went back to pr5 to finish up the pr5 ships that's fair that's fair that's fine plymouth uh i'd say plymouth is a higher priority than breast but people keep telling me breast is so good she's so amazing she has fantastic skills and She's so strong. She's a great ship, and you should use her more. And I'm like, meh. We'll see. You want to get Harbin after Cheshire? Fair enough. Harbin's real good. Harbin real good. Cheshire real good. Cool. Awesome. And then your world progress, as we saw earlier, I believe, is you are a world 14. Awesome. Go ahead and look at your Operation Siren. Mob Fleet on Fleet 1. You'll love to see it. Actually progressing their Operation Siren as the month goes on. Absolutely love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. Let's look at these fleets. Good, good, good. Yeah, carrier fleet, BB fleet. So this is the, there's a there's a good mixture here of waifu and meta, right? These are these are very clean, very clean fleets. I like these fleet. I like all. I like all four of these fleets. You're using the really strong ships, but you also have a sprinkle of clearly like waifu choices. Yeah. Yeah. I like them. I like them. These feel like an actual Azure Lane player's fleets instead of a tier list player's fleets. Believe it or not. But like, so for a player who's been playing almost a year. This is, this is, this is, this, these are, these are clean. These are clean AF. Could swap Anchorage for more something more damage up front. I mean, you could, but then you wouldn't have as much survivability and just keep going. Basically. So you might as well. I mean, you have plenty of damage just from these two, and then you have survivability from her, so you might as well. I know you have double healer, but you might as well. You have two healers. Yes, you have two healers. Why not? Extra survivability. You don't need damage. You need survivability. You need the fleet to be able to just go all the time. All of the time. Just constantly go, go, go. How? How do people get these incredibly high numbers of of uh, shop vouchers. I don't understand. I never get this high. I play all the time and I never get this high. What is going on here? Bought out the whole damn shop. Absolutely insane. I am slacking an offside. That's how. Yep, I sure am. Look at, look at, my, look at my shop. Look at my shop. I do Operation Siren every month and my shop is terrible compared by comparison. Absolutely terrible. I don't buy the coins either. I can barely I can barely afford anything out of there. People buying out the whole goddamn thing. Every time. Every time. And I'm sitting over here like, what the hell? Do you waste AP or let it sit too long? I clear it out every day. I met a bare minimum. So most likely I waste a lot of AP. Oh my god, Ken, how? How? How do you have a hundred and four thousand? points that's insane absolutely insane y'all y'all gaming too hard for me i'm just not that much i'm just not that much of a gamer i'm not a gamer i'm a streamer there you go that's the difference i'm not a gamer i'm just a streamer i'm terrible i don't be gaming enough all right well there you go i don't know why see this is why i don't know why people want my advice i don't play the game i'm terrible at the game absolutely terrible all right, so that is your Operation Siren. Looks real good. Looks real good. All right, so you wanted assistance with World 14 fleets. Yes? Yeah. Yeah, let's go with this.
Yeah, we'll go with this. So this is what I would say for your World 14 fleets. Is uh, fully retrofit Z1. Get the uh, Z fleet going up front. They should probably do just fine here. I'm not sure if you want her or her in the back. But you definitely want Otto up front. She's the tankiest. And then for... I don't think he has the DDGs at the moment. Uh, you could use the DDGs. I did not use them. You do have the DDGs. You have one of them. You have Chang Chun. You could use the DDGs. They're definitely an option. Um, but since you have these two already leveled, level, and Z1 is already max limit broke, you just have to level her, you could definitely just run the Z fleet, and they will just fucking do just fine. Or at least they should do just fine. Um, Kawakaze with her augment. That's true. He does have Kazakawa. Kazakawa. You could just do, instead of, you don't even have to level Laffy too, then at that point you just go this. Bam. Yeah, she's already geared too. You could just go with Kawakaze, honestly, here. Yeah. You know. Anchorage keeps people alive. They do a ton of damage. They keep people alive. And the main reason I chose Rioho over Unicorn here is because of her, um, uh, the anti-sub effects that she has. And then the more targeted healing for the occasional ship that gets, like, you know, blitzed. Like, like FDG or something like that. Mm. Yeah, you'll have to 125 these ships for sure. Yeah, there's also the, the new plane, this one, right? There's the new plane, and then there's also, I don't know if you have one, but you can make, because you wanted to gear lab options as well. There's also this one, which, not, you have plenty of resources, so I'm going to, I don't know if they stack. I mean, they're anti, it's ASW armament, you're not really looking for anything else. It's not about the skill, it's about the abilities. I'm gonna make one. I'm gonna make one because they can just be useful. That's not what I wanted, I wanted this. So I don't know if the range up part stacks, but the ASW obviously as a raw stat does. So you can have both of these. Her HP will be a little bit lower because of that, but it's still pretty good. You could always just run one of these as well. You could run it like this. Uh, you could run uh, with a repair toolkit or something of these for health, and then run one of them on her instead. <laughs> Ryoho used to be one of the strongest, if not the best healer in the game before Perseus came out. She's super good. And she's super good in World 14 because of the anti-submarine. Like this fleet... Should have no problems once leveled up properly. Like none. You got ASW, you got Battleship, you got Healing, you got Evasion, you got um, Anti-Air. Should have, should have no problems. Unfortunately, I cannot test it because World 15, 14 is not as much of a joke as 13. And these characters are not as OP. Now, I would like to point out that when I did world 14 for the very first time when it first came out I'm trying to think do we have Yudachi yet I think we had Yudachi at the time because I'm pretty sure I was using Yudachi and I think Shimakaza had just come out too with world 14 at that time yeah I want to say this was my setup for world 14 and I actually was mostly playing on manual, though. I do want to point that out. I was mostly playing on manual at the time because I just wanted to get through it. So. And my boss fleet was something like I had Monarch and then Georgia or New Jersey. I think I had Georgia or New Jersey with Enterprise. And I think I eventually ended up changing it to just being New Jersey, Georgia, and Enterprise. Yeah. Yeah, you could always run a gear here as well. To be perfectly honest, they wouldn't. It wouldn't. You know, you just run a gear here. Let me make a deal. Watch me call me out. 
shit, run auto. Do this. Do this comp. That'd be kind of fun. But there's a there's a lot of options. You have a lot of options. You just basically need to be using a destroyer, basically, of some kind. But your best bet here is going to be uh, if you really want your de uh, destroyers and stuff to work together well, would be to run the Z fleet with. Uh, there you go. Just do this. Yeah, this works too. These would be my these are my biggest advice to you. Yeah, playing on yeah, playing on mana will definitely helps for the big ultra calls. Yeah, you're gonna want you're gonna want this on someone. Obviously, you're gonna want your you're gonna at least want. I mean, just to be on the safe side, you're gonna want one of these on basically every on at least two of the characters here and at least one of the characters here, right? So one of them will want to be wearing one, probably, probably one of these two. No ASLE for boss. I mean, you don't need it, but I did. There's no subs on the boss. There's no subs on the boss for four. Ugh. Also, this was for fourteen four because, like, uh, I'm not really sure how you would change this up for fourteen one, two, and three. To be honest, I'm mostly worried about fourteen four. The capstone, like these fleets, should be fine for all stages, but fourteen one and fourteen two have no subs. Okay, so then in that situation, you still want the evasion, so you just don't need the ASW gear. Yeah, the hedgehog and then the one ASW plane is probably fine as well. You could just run a uh, more uh, more health on her. Yeah, you'll need Z. Obviously, uh, we're not factoring in levels at the moment. We're, imagine everybody's one twenty five. Basically, that's basically one twenty to one twenty five is what everybody should be focusing on. I think it'd be fine. You may notice that my go-to is always Enterprise because, well, invulnerability is good, folks. Invulnerability good. But you could easily make this more Iron Blood oriented. Use AAVP. She doesn't have as much ASW, but she does have the time stops, which would be useful. So, but frankly, for your for your, I think your boss fleet will be the easiest fleet to create to destroy whatever boss you need to. It's the mob fleet you got to be concerned about. And I think the Z Fleet will do well for you. I've heard good things about the Z Fleet altogether. But worst case scenario, if you can't run the Z Fleet, and you need to run your these destroyers over here, and you run Kawakaze over there, and you can just put I mean shit, if you're running two carriers, you can put Kaw, you know, her over here. For the since it's the boss and there's no subs on the boss for 144, you could just fucking run this. Like there's, you have so many options when it comes to your boss fleet, right? It's your mob fleet that you're probably going to have the biggest concern about. But you could also do what I just said and run things like this. Like if you didn't want to do the Z fleet, you could just run this. This is what I used, right? I did manual with it, but I'm pretty sure it'd be fine on auto. As long as you have the gear. Hatsuzuki? Yeah, Hatsuzuki would work too, yes. Does he have Hatsuzuki? Yeah. Another, 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 there you go, there you go. IJN. FDG is mostly here because that's the one you wanted for your mob. So, yeah. Oh, you know what? I take that back. My original, now I know why I did manual. This was my original mob. That's what it was. Now I remember. This is what it was. This was my mob fleet for 14.4 back running manual, basically. And here's the real trigger. Here's the real trigger. Again, since this is the way it is. There's no ASW. You could just fucking run this. <laughs> you could run an eagle. You could just run eagles as well. Because guess what? Eagles good. Guess what? Eagles, real good. Eagles, real good. Especially if they don't, if you don't need a healer because it's just a boss fleet. Eagles, real good. So. I hope that helps. Let me go ahead and put it back into the standard fleet I gave you here. You will have superiority with this. So not quite supremacy, but you'll be at superiority, which is good enough. But you may not need two BBs for that, like I said. So you could swap this into two carriers if you wanted to. And that would immediately solve that problem. Right? That just that immediately that immediately solves your problem right there. Throwing in another carrier. So it's a it's a matter of like, 
do you feel comfortable on uh on superiority like are you running it okay if you're running fine then everything's fine if you feel better with supremacy then you feel better with supremacy so so those are basically your your options sir I don't know why I said boss 15, I meant boss 14. That's definitely not a plate I would use on boss uh, 15. So. Yeah, boss Y would, would, you're right, it would kill the boss faster, absolutely. So. Which is why, again, you could run, I mean, shit, do you have a Graf Zeppelin leveled up? Shit, you could probably, you might, might, might be able to get away with something like this if you wanted if you just wanted like if you just wanted to be like iron blood all the way you might be able to get away with something like this uh where's red muse there you go bam or you could even run kazukumo in here for a boss fleet and then whatever else wins here like this is another this is another option that would be perfectly fine on bosses on world 14. because there's no sub on uh, the 14 4 boss anyways so you have lots of options you basically have leveled all the characters you need to be able to be successful you just have to comp them right right and so world 14 the answer to world 14 in the evasion problem is bringing at least two to three destroyers between your two fleets preferably three to four like honestly like your entire mob fleet will probably be mostly destroyers and then your boss fleet will be like one destroyer and like two heavy crews or something like that. Just just to just to have the evasion numbers. And for gearing, so when you're missing out on like little bits of evasion for recon or what have you, your answer is going to be um, high performance radars. So like uh, or high performance the, the the washing machines, right? You're basically gonna want one of these on even your destroyers. Normally you would not put those on your destroyers, but since your destroyers are going to be the primary thing you have in World 14, you're going to at least want one uh, on each one of them. Just to add that extra little evasion uh, throughout there. Normally you'd have HP, but yeah. You think I should craft a bunch of URDD guns? No, not necessarily, because not every DD actually wants that gun, right? Like... If the character is more focused on their barrage, they're gonna want to use, you know, this one. You already, you, you know, this is why you have it on her, right? If they're more of a gunboat, you should only craft them if you need them for your gunboat DDs, or you need them for your gunboat uh, CLs, or your gunboats, um, uh, your gunboat CAs that use DD guns, right? That's the that's the only time you're gonna want to craft the gun is when you actually need it for a character. Just willy nilly crafting is kind of like whatever, I and mean, you can do that, but I would only craft it when I actually need it for a character. It'll be good on like Harbin. There are several CLs that use them as main guns, so it can be good for them as well for gunboat gunboat CLs that use DD guns, or just have like a better efficiency with them, basically. Because DD guns do do more damage. DD guns do do more damage. Yeah, that's the word. That's what I said. I said what I said. All good. Thanks for the advice. All right, cool. No problem. Well, that is going to be the end of this account review. Then, um, I hope you found this enlightening. I hope you found it helpful. And if you do. Please leave a like, a comment, maybe consider subscribing. And if you want your account reviewed or you'd like some help, please come on over to twitch.tv slash agito live and then join our Discord where we have a help channel that can help out with these things too. And if you have any more specific questions about them, feel free to come on over there as well as my camera decides to get super blurry on me. Refocus. Refocus. Okay, don't refocus. I'll redo my outro. You fucking stupid ass fucking camera. How dare you? All right, that's going to be the end of this account review. If you like this type of content, please leave a like, uh, a comment, and maybe consider subscribing. And if you would like your account reviewed as well, come on over to twitch.tv slash Live, where I do account reviews, usually when I'm streaming Agile Lane. And if you have any more questions and need any more help, please join our Discord, ask in the help channel, and we will be no problem helping you out there. So that's going to be it for me. I'll see you guys next time. Later.